Zachary is pedaling into the capacitor on the power board. We're about to fire up our laptop computer. So Zach has charged the main capacitor up to about 12 volts. Let's take a look. See how he's doing. That looks pretty good. It's holding steady. There's not really a load yet. Let's take a look at the power board. You can see in the center is the what's up meter. We'll be looking at that more closely in a minute. Power comes in from the top. It's distributed to the left to the 58 farad capacitor, 15 volt. It's also distributed down into a three outlet cigarette lighter device. And into that cigarette lighter device, we have plugged a laptop power supply. This happens to be a Targus 70 watt power supply with the proper tip to run our IBM ThinkPad laptop computer. Now let's take a look more closely just at the what's up meter which you can see in the center of the screen brightly lit and you can see the voltage is in the upper right hand corner that's what Zach is putting out currently 12.68. The one watt of power is what all of these different systems are consuming right now including our laptop power supply which you can see from the green indicator is on but it's only drawing about a watt because it's not yet plugged into the computer that's our next step so we'll take the power from the power supply and we will with a little bit of experimentation there plug it into the laptop computer and now we're going to open this puppy up and give it a boot now while the computer is booting we're going to watch the power use you can see we're up to about 30 watts and Zach is holding the power relatively steady he's going to have to pedal a little bit harder in order to keep the power up And uh, meanwhile, back at our laptop, we have a Windows boot going on. Sorry about the glare. I know it's hard to see. Let's see if I can get a better angle for us. There we go. So this particular laptop, which is a ThinkPad T40, has settled down to about 25 watts now while it waits for the boot process to complete. Zachary, will you say how difficult the pedaling is? Not difficult at all. You can see he's got a rather relaxed approach to keeping the equipment running at this point. And we are uh, Just finishing up our boot process. There's our login. That familiar chime, and there is our desktop. At this point, the boot process has almost finished. We're actually hooking up right now to our network, our wireless network. So there's still uh, some activity going on with the hard drive and with the CPU. But we will have the boot process finished here shortly. And then we'll take another look at the power use as the system is idle. And I think we're almost there. Almost. And as is typical of many different computers, we have a lot of different uh, program starting right in the beginning but we're all done so we are now going to zero in on the power use on the what's up meter once we're booted 
you can see we're holding steady at about 22 or 23 watts which again is uh, very easy to maintain with the pedal generator not a problem and the laptop as far as it knows is plugged into the wall and it's going to be happily powered by this system as long as we want to keep pedaling with the addition of a laptop table to get the laptop within reach of Zachary he would be able to pedal his laptop and access the internet through his wireless connection and stay in shape and get his work done at the same time.